hey guys welcome back to our new freaking video so today is let me check out even know what's today today is july 13 um as you can see in the title of this video it is gonna be my breast reduction vlog and i was really debating if i should vlog or not and i was like why not i see like you know other people um do these type of videos on youtube so i was just like i'm gonna go ahead and i'm sorry if i look crusty but i woke up not too long ago um my plan for today is go to the bathroom, clean my room, and go to Target um, to get some things and also get food. So I already did one of those things already. I already cleaned the bathroom literally when I woke up. I woke up like maybe like four and that was not the plan. I wanted to wake up like, you know, a little earlier, but that didn't go as planned. So I'm doing everything today, very last minute. I have like the folder from the place I'm gonna get my surgery. Uh, these are the wipes they told me to um after i take a shower or whatever like use these wipes i think there's like two in here yeah two so i used one tonight and then i used one this morning so i have to wake up before um my surgery my surgery i have to be there at 11 45 i think they're gonna start at 12 and they say i might take two to three hours so i need to wake up before maybe i have to wake up maybe like nine and then take a shower and then yeah also they gave me like you know what i need to get prepared and all of that and they also gave me this little yellow paper see night before i don't know if you guys can see it <laughs> but basically it's just important information it just says pick up um, prescriptions from pharmacy this week and bring them um bring them with you to surgery which i already do uh, i'll go get them in a minute and i yeah i can't eat or drink after midnight tonight uh you were private with the wipes take a shower oh yeah and i have to take a shower with um antibacteria so which i already i ordered that from amazon a couple of days ago and use wipe on entire body and then morning of the sh morning of, of surgery, I have to do the same thing, take a shower, like I said. And then I have to remove all my jewelry and metal from your body hair. This includes all piercings. I don't have any. And any metal on your body or hair extensions that have metal. Metal can cause a burn or a fire on your body if not removed. Make sure you have an adult ready to pick you up after surgery. So my mom is going to take me to surgery, of course. And my best friend i believe she's gonna meet us there or follow us there and then my boyfriend they both took their days off you know because of me which i'm grateful for that her sister won't be won't be able to make it i can't speak today because my sister has covid and i'm really sad about that because i wanted her to be there but i mean oh well what can you do about it but my other sister my younger sister will be there because i mean she lives with me how i'm feeling right now I'm nervous to be honest and I am gonna be nervous tomorrow when it, it's gonna hit me when I walk into the clinic it's gonna hit me like oh my god I'm getting surgery done it's just gonna be crazy it really is and um I can't believe like this is happening because I've been wanting a breast reduction for a while and I just can't believe this is happening I really can't and um what size i am right now i don't even know but my victoria's secret uh bra it says a 30, 34 or 32 triple d i guess i'll show you guys the table that i got from amazon and also the soap i need to wash for tonight so it's this soap let me get and um these are my medications one two three of these and then my little table see y'all it's pink it's so cute oh uh, i guess let me set y'all down really quick uh let me show you guys my table i'm sorry i look a mess but so it's like it's a foldable table you know you can fold it whenever you want so it's like that it has this just pull these out and bam so like when I, you know, in bed, it's basically gonna look like this. Oh wait, let me flip the camera. 
basically is super cute um you see all these teddy bears i don't even know if i'm gonna want to like tape them off or just put them up to the side but i'm gonna like make my bed take all of these clothes out and you see all these boxes from amazon and yeah just clean up make my room clean because i don't want to you know be in, in a dirty environment and yeah because i feel like when i'm in here that's just gonna be stressing me out like i don't want to have clothes everywhere so oh my gosh i didn't know the camera was over there my bad y'all i'm all over the place but like, yeah i'm just gonna clean this up i'm probably gonna do it after i eat because i am kind of getting hungry and the place um we're gonna get wings from they close at eight so i wanted to get it before they oh my gosh it's the camera but like I said, I wanted to get food first before I go to Target. So right now, I'm probably going to order food. And then um, after that, we're going to go to Target, me and my sister. And I guess after clean my room and then, you know, take a shower. So I believe I've talked everything. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting. Oh, and also, I need to do like, um, I want to try on the shirts I have in my closet before like do like a before and after i'm pretty sure like, like you know when i come back home it's gonna take like i said it's gonna take i don't remember i believe one week or two weeks for me to recover so um when i recover or feel comfortable i'm gonna you know put those shirts back on and see you know how they look i can't wait i really can't wait so i'm gonna do that later today as well and i wish i could show you guys like how they look but you can't really see in this shirt but they're like saggy or whatever and i hate that like that's why i'm glad i'm getting them done tomorrow I really am glad um but yeah so i'm gonna order food actually oh i actually got a voicemail from the place i'm gonna get my surgery done Hi, Angelica. It's Linda at Dr. Nakamura's office. I was just calling to remind you of your arrival time. Tomorrow, we would like you here by 1145. Come through the front door. Nothing to eat or drink after midnight tonight. Um, do bring your medications that we sent for you. And no jewelry or metal on your body, body anywhere. Um, and then take your shower tonight and tomorrow morning. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. It's 817-41. All right. I'm not going to put that. But okay. Yeah, like I basically said, you know, I can't have jewelry and all that. And I also can't eat at after midnight, which sucks. I was talking to my mom, like, I'm not sure, like, if I can eat normal. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, for surgery day. Like, I just eat, like, you know, like, soft foods, like, um soups and all that or um, i don't i have no idea because no one hasn't said anything and from the videos i see um like i've seen um a girl eating mashed potatoes like just or like rice but i i don't know if i can eat like how i want to eat basically so i'm not i don't i don't know i guess they'll tell me um tomorrow i don't know i guess i'll walk back when we get our food because like I said, we're just going to go get food. But if we were at Target, you know, I'll bring my camera. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we got our food. This is 10 piece to Buffalo, whatever. And two Cokes down there. Really you see. Do not mind my sister. She always wants to fight anybody that looks at her. Isn't that right? Everybody got staring for all bro. Why you like my outfit? Right. Alright, so now we're gonna head home and we're gonna go eat. The lighting is really bad. We're gonna go, like I said, we're gonna go home, go eat, and then when it gets I guess when the sun goes down, we're gonna have to target the and do all that. Goes. Oh my god, this lighting! You oh Ew! Orange. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drive now.
Hey, hey, hey. They got a thing oh, on the couch. What do you want to say? What's up, what? What did you say? Why didn't we get a car? Oh my god. We just walked up in here with no type of car. Make you get one? Okay. We forgot to get a car. Um, so yeah, we're in Target. Um, we found one of the pillows for the back and it's gray. I wanted to get white. It's gonna get dirty if it's white. I mean, that is true, but... So there's this one, and the other ones were like 30 bucks. So I might, what do you think? Yeah. So we're gonna get this one. Uh, we're waiting for uh, my boyfriend to bring a car because we forgot to get one. I like, am. Yeah. Okay, so we got the pillow the stick thingy and some stuff and then we gotta get some shampoo and all that okay guys so i'm finally back home i didn't get i guess record that much at target because it was almost um closing time at target it closed at 10 and we got there like nine something so i was just getting everything um trying to like find everything at target so and also we went to Wendy's, my last meal for today, because I can't eat or drink after midnight. And they put me on this pineapple mango drink, which is really good. And yeah, I can't even drink water or nothing. So I'm literally going to get um, in the shower after I'm done eating. I got from Target. I got some hand sanitizer, and plus I needed some anyways. Got some crackers, a little snack, and I also got a spray deodorant. I got two of them. I don't know how much, and I got some wipes, um, flushable wipes for the bathroom. Okay, even though I needed some anyways, and then we just got a bunch of, well, my sister really, shampoo, um, conditioner, hair products, and. Yeah, um, and then I also got the, whatever, the bath brush, loofah, stick, thingy, whenever I need a shower after my surgery. Yeah, I'm just gonna wash my body. I can't put no lotion, no perfume, no none of that, no Vaseline, none of that. Uh, but I know I can wash my hair. I said on the paper they gave me that I can wash my hair because, I mean, I won't be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll just wash my hair, do the basics, um, brush my hair, put the hair products in, and wash myself with the soap they told me to wash with. And yeah, so I'll get back with you guys after I get out the shower, I guess. Right now I'm just gonna finish my little meal for literally for today. Cause I won't be able to eat after midnight and in the morning, which sucks. So do that and then like i said i'll get back to you guys after showering i'm out of breath do not mind me all right see you guys in a little bit hey guys so i just got out the shower well not just now but like not too long ago not too long ago it is 12 22 now it's july 14 it is surgery day it's still night time or whatever but um so so i wanted to do that tiktok where they were doing um trying on shirts like before and after but like you guys can't really see in this shirt i don't wash up my nipples but i can't really see like my size or like how big they look but i'm gonna go ahead and like record myself and I haven't set out shirts yet and oh I forgot to say when I got the shower I used one of the cloths they gave me it looked like this but it was wet so I use that and I have one more for um when I take a shower again in the morning so I don't have no lotion on me just that white but I did put hair products in my hair because um it looks kind of dry right here but Because I know I'm going to take a shower again in the morning and then I don't want to wet my hair. So I'm going to put a shower cap when I'm in the shower. 
so like my hair doesn't get wet again and they say well on the paper it says don't come with wet hair so i just have my hair or like this but yeah, so right now I'm gonna go in my closet, look for shirts, like crop tops, and like try put them on. And yeah, so let me stop recording so my camera doesn't die. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm really, really can't wait. I'm super nervous, and I just want these off. And good night to my boobs. This is the last night I'm gonna be with my big boobs. So yeah, and I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, well this is how my bed looks now um it's pretty clean i just moved basically all my teddy bears and put them on the side i just left these on because they weren't really like in the way and then i have the pillow and yeah basically and i'm probably gonna put more blankets but yeah so that's how it's looking right now but i'll show you guys in the morning or whatever but i'm gonna do that and i'll see you guys later okay guys it is the morning of surgery day it is July 14, it's 9.37. Um, I woke up at 5 something to use the bathroom and I just could not go back to sleep. I was like half awake, half asleep. And yeah, so I didn't really get a good night's sleep or whatever. But I did get some rest. I went to sleep like 1 in the morning and then woke up like around 5 days of after and I just couldn't stay. I mean, I just couldn't go to sleep. So, I'm gonna take my morning shower. Um, I'm not gonna get my hair wet. I'm gonna use the shower cap that my older sister got me for my birthday. So, I'm glad she got me this because it came in hand. I'm gonna brush my teeth this morning and then get in the shower. <laughs> my teeth um they said i could brush my teeth i just can't drink anything eat anything really want some donuts like i'm hungry as heck i can't eat anything i forgot to mention um i didn't get soups i don't know if i talked about that but i believe i said i don't know but either my boyfriend's gonna get it for me or my mom but we didn't find the soups at target the soups i like and I also didn't get a charger, like a longer charger. Uh, I completely forgot about the one at Target. And I also couldn't find a button up shirt at Target. So, and I I was thinking about it when I, when I woke up, like I could have ordered it. Well, order some on Amazon. I should have done that, like when I ordered my table, so everything would have been here, right? But I wasn't thinking about it so it's it's cool though um i'm gonna wear like a zip up um hoodie or whatever and just wear some pajama pants and then my slides and then basically that's it so i'll take my shower i'm gonna use the wipe um they told me to use a cap but lotion nothing and yeah so i'll get back to you guys i guess when i got out the shower Okay, so I'm dressed up. I'm wearing this tracksuit I got from Fashion Nova, which is like the first time I, I wore it. What did it say on the booty? Um, bad is? Oh, goddess. Goddess. So, like I said, I didn't have a button up shirt, so I'm just wearing a zip up jacket so they can, you know. Let's see. Yeah, so what time is it? It's 10.39, we need to be there by 11.45, and my best friend's gonna meet us up there, also my boyfriend, and yeah, I feel nervous, and they're gonna take two to three hours, and yeah, let's see how, what I'm gonna look like, but last time was my boobs, they look like this very not it <laughs> i guess i don't think i'm gonna bring my camera because i feel like it's just 
gonna be too much to carry. I'm just gonna bring myself and my phone, but whenever I can vlog, I'm gonna vlog on my phone. And yeah. Is he pretty me? This is ridiculous. My arm hurts. Yeah, me. I saw back home. It's like six or something. I'm sorry for this ankle. And I'm just like laying on my bag. And I ate some soup. My best friend fed me some soup. Um, she went to go pick up her sister. So I'm just in my room, we're watching Shrek, but it's paused because my sister had to go get something in the living room, so I'm just here waiting, and I was like, let me just walk real quick, but I am in pain. I took my pain medication and some other pill because I had to eat something for that other pill. I'm not sure which pill was it. And I think, I, wait, what, what pill did I take when I was eating? What do you mean? Remember I took my pain medication? Oh. And what was that other pill I took? It was muscle spasm. Well, yeah, that one. And then which, which one is the other one that I haven't took? Uh, the nausea. I don't know what that pill's called. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so. And, yeah, I'm just... Well, when I was in the car on my way home, I was... A lot more pain than how I am now like I mean I, I'm in pain but it's not like I guess that's bad but when I got into the car like yeah I was hurting really bad and I felt sore but um, I guess when I feel a little better I'll show you guys like how it looks from um, how they look when I'm wearing the hoodie I'm wearing right now I mean, I don't think you'll be able to tell, to be honest. But yeah, I don't remember um, falling asleep that quick. I just remember they started inserting me, like, with the, what's it called? Um, what's it called when they put you to sleep? Anesthesia? Yeah, when they put that in me, like, I just remember the nurse was um, asking me, like, where do I work? And I told her, you know. I work at Amazon, this and that. And then she asked me like, what is my dream job? And I told her I wanted to be a YouTuber. And then that's it. And then that's when I woke up. And I was like in a different room and it was with a different nurse. And I was just like very drugged up. And I remember I had to use the bathroom really bad, but then I could drink water. So yeah, I ate already. And yeah, so we're gonna watch Shrek and I guess wait until my best friend comes back or whatever. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm in a lot of pain. I wish I could sleep like on my side because that's like how I usually sleep, but I'm not really used to sleeping on my back. So yeah. Peace out. <laughs> okay, um, today is July 16. It's, um, 9.43. I did a vlog earlier because, I don't know, I was in too much pain. But I took my medications because I took a nap after I ate. I feel like when I take, um the pain medication and when I eat something like I just get drowsy so I just been asleep really today 
Um, I still haven't took a shower because I'm still in a lot of pain. But I go back to the, oh god, I need to charge my, my, um, what's it called, my camera, you see it's about to die. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I'm gonna make this quick since I need to charge my camera, but, um, I have to go back to the place on Monday at 3, I'm not sure why, do you know? It's a checkup. Oh, I guess, yeah, to check up how I'm doing or whatever, but, um, yeah, so that's, I've just been asleep, mostly, and then eating, nothing, nothing hasn't been really going on, and I've just been chilling, watching TV with my sister, who's been taking care of me, and also my mom, and, yeah, nothing really special hasn't been happening, I just can't wait until I can see, like, how my boobs look when I take a shower, yeah, I'm kind of scared because I don't know, but I still don't know what am I. I guess when I go back to the mass, like am I D cup or C cup? Because my mom said that it might be a little smaller because there's like swelling or whatever. But I took off my hoodie because I was getting hot. But this is how they look. You see all the what's it called? the tape or whatever and they gave me a bra and I have ice over it so it can help me because I mean right now since I took the medication I'm not in that much pain and then also I've been walking around the house a little bit but yeah nothing too special and I guess right now I'm just gonna chill watch TikToks and yeah then my muscle Medication, I gotta take it at 11 because I want to take every eight hours and the pain one is every four hours. And then I have another medication, but that one is if I need, to, if I feel like throwing up, which that hasn't happened to me. And also, I started on my period, so which sucks. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll get to you guys later on. Alright, bye y'all. And good night also, because we might go to sleep later on, but yeah, bye. I think it's day four, uh, yeah. and what's today? It is June, oh June, June. <laughs> July 17, it is, what time it is? 7.24. 7.24, um, I woke up like at 4 p.m., and yeah today is sunday i got um i took a shower and i mean it was okay um i finally got to see my boobs like um from the ugh, i can't speak i finally got to see my boobs out of the bra and, and they look you know different how you know how i used to see them and yeah and then like i said tomorrow I go back tomorrow at the place to get a check up to see everything went well. And I, yeah, I believe they're going to take off the tape that's on my nipples because we didn't want to mess with them. So, and then we replaced the, whatever these are called. The padding? Yeah, things. the paddings to cover the nipples and stuff because my mom said it was like kind of like bleeding a lot. Well, not a lot, but a little bit, but yeah. So yeah, we're just chilling, watching Descendants, I don't know, they put emojis on it, if you can see, but yeah. So yeah, nothing too big, nothing really happening, I ate earlier, and I'm hungry again, I think my mom's gonna get food for us later, or whatever, and yeah, it's pretty much nothing too special. I'm um, still in a little bit of pain. The shower felt a little nice, but I couldn't um, shower. Uh, what's it called? I guess put the water towards my boobs because I looked it up and I said I have to like put my back into it. So that's what I did. And then I used the, the stick. What's it called? The loofah stick or whatever? The loofah. The loofah stick. <laughs> to wash and yeah and I use the antibacterial soap that I use 
and yeah, that's pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're just chilling. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later on. Bye, yeah. recording on my phone because I left my camera at home but I'm right now it's 406 I believe July 17 or 18 one of those days I don't even know but I'm with my boyfriend I'm waiting in the car for him. we're at this restaurant called wing bucket he said it was good so this is my first time trying it and at the clinic well my doctor's appointment and went i guess okay um they took off the tape that was like around my nipples and let me tell you it hurt so bad because you know it's tape so i was so like uncomfortable and how i feel right now my boobs hurt and i feel like a burning sensation because one of the nurses, when they were taking off the tape on this boob, like, um, one of, like, cut, like, my nipple kind of took off, if that makes sense. Because they stitched on my nipple, and where they had the tape, like, she, I guess she did it too, like, rough. And then, so, the doctor was like, he's gonna send over some, some ointment cream to my, uh, CBS. And, um, so I can put it, um, on that, like, like, I wish I could show you guys, but, you know, I can't, because, you know, YouTube, but, so I'm just gonna put in that area, he said to put it every two, um, times each day, so every morning and night, so I guess later, I'm gonna go pick up that cream up, and also I need to get a refill on my muscle prescription, I still have pain prescription, I wish I brought my pain medication with me because I have a lot of pain right now since they changed the tape and put the cream on me and stuff so yeah that's pretty much what's going on today and um, this is my first time out since surgery day basically and yeah I guess we'll get back to you guys later I got my food but this is bacon, macaroni and cheese, and chicken tenders with buffalo sauce, and some seasoned fries. Hey guys, so it is freaking November, like, it is freaking November, y'all. Let me show y'all. It is November 8th, like, what? So, it's been four months since my surgery, and... The reason why I haven't, um, I guess, post this video, like, during that time, because first, I was healing, and a lot of stuff was going on, really, with my life, and third, I didn't want to tell it that quick, I guess, because it's a big transformation for me, really, and also, I had to edit and all that, and yeah, so that's why it took me so long to upload this video i'm here to close this video but before i do um i just want to say some stuff like what's been going on really now so yesterday was like my last appointment at the place where i got my surgery from and all i did was um take photos i have before and after pics because when um like my first appointment over there they took like um, pictures on my boobs like when I had big boobs and then they took like after or whatever like how they look now so I am a C cub I was a triple D for sure and let me just tell you guys like oh my gosh like it is so crazy to say like I finally have small boobs and I'm so sorry y'all it is so crazy like um so much weight like just took off from my body because they were so heavy y'all like so heavy my back was just killing me it was screaming literally 
so um yeah so now i wanted to explain like what happened after surgery and um after when they were taking well after surgery like maybe like two or three days um don't remember but like the first appointment after surgery really um they wanted to see me like check if everything was good or whatever so i was still like in pain a little bit but not as much pain um when i woke up from surgery um but yeah they wanted to see me like a couple days after and when the, one of the nurses was taking off like the tapes um this nipple like some of the nipple skin was already like taking off when she took it off so when that happened i was just freaking out and i was like like is this like is this what's supposed to happen like i was just thinking so many things really and i thought it was the nurse's fault like because she i like the way she did it it did seem like she did it hard but he the doctor explained to me like even before surgery like this could happen skin can like fall off basically because it's like one of the risks from surgery and um so i just didn't think that would happen to me he told me it's like a 14 percent chance that it can happen but it happened to me so um i was like really like very upset i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was upset about it like why is this happening to me i was just like freaking out and he explained it to me he was just like um you know like i did say that this would this was gonna happen and it's not his fault and i thought it was i was just like you know all this for nothing basically for my like nipple like nipple skin to just fall off so anyway so he told me uh well he prescribed me uh this ointment cream that i had to put like every day in the morning and the night so that's what i did for like those weeks or whatever and then i went again to him and he was like he was thinking that um like let me explain to you guys like basically like some of the skin from this nipple was like falling off and it was it was just not pretty at all i wish i can show you guys but it's super graphic and disgusting and puss was coming out and it was bleeding and that's why i have to apply that cream so it won't get infection or whatever so when i went to him he was thinking like the color on my nipple was not gonna come back and that uh, um if it does come back it was gonna like scab up or whatever and like make it like a darker color than this nipple so it was just like a lot to me really i was just like like i cannot believe this happened to me like why but um overall um like i you know i kept doing it and stuff and then i had to go to him he was like don't put the cream anymore let's see like if it's gonna heal up and maybe the color is gonna come back so i was just like okay so that's what i did um i took showers he wanted me to take shower a shower like every single day so it can heal up so when i went yesterday he was like it looks way better than he expected or whatever because like i told you guys he literally thought like you know he didn't think like this was like my color was gonna come back or whatever so but like i had like three like parts on my nipple like where like the skin was already coming off but like um on the bottom of my nipple like it's already like healed up like the color is back but i just have like one little part left so hopefully the color is gonna come back because he said that it like you know if it doesn't he recommends me to go to like a tattoo artist and like get it tattooed like to have that color back or whatever so i just hope like the color does come back and he said it might take like maybe a year really for the nipple to heal and maybe get the color back so we don't know and um i don't want to get a tattoo really so i really hope it does and also like my scars is gonna you know take time as well to fade away i do have scars and stuff it's been going on but my nipple is healing and it looks like it's getting better i wish i could show you like how it looked at first it was disgusting y'all but now like it looks better how it was before basically so i'm really happy that it's going well and um yeah so but 
the first few days for surgery i was in pain i was i don't even know i would say like the pain maybe it was like six or seven out of ten like how bad the pain was and i did have to take pain medications and they put me to sleep y'all like knocked out and um what else i did needed help from my sister and my mom like to take a shower those first few days because i couldn't do it myself and also oh yeah also like for the food they did say um i can eat whatever like i don't have to like eat soups or whatever i can eat whatever so that's what i did i just ate normal and since i couldn't drive I, we would me and my sister we just DoorDash food basically it was kind of fun really um just to be like in bed and just like basically like they were taking care of me as a baby really so i like that feeling but you know it's gone so <laughs> but now um i can do my stuff now like you know take showers um oh and also i couldn't like bend over and like get something or i couldn't carry anything heavy like everybody had to do it for me so but now like I'm good like back to normal I can drive I couldn't drive for like the first two weeks I believe so yeah I'm like back to normal it's just like this nipple problem but yeah I just didn't want to scare you guys and say like oh, I don't have a nipple like and I was not trying to say that I do have my nipples uh I do have my nipples still it's just like those first few days skin was coming off basically and but yeah like it's all Go, it's all looking like it's gonna heal up and i'm gonna get my color back soon so i pray for that and i i really am thankful that you know everything else went well like i didn't have any else like any other problems and stuff oh, excuse me all but yeah and also um with um what's it called also insurance is not paying for it um we are paying out of pocket and we're doing it like every month and the whole like surgery everything basically is like fourteen thousand. yeah it is a lot y'all but that's why we're doing like um what's it called so it's basically like 200 every month i don't know for how long really like i don't know my math <laughs> but am i happy with my decision yes i am like i cannot believe i still can't believe because i um what's it called I was always used to like you know having big boobs and i just you know my body or my mind like you know i'm not used to it basically so but i just can't wait until it's like spring and summer so i can wear all the cute stuff and i don't have to worry about like having big boobs like, oh, i can't wear this shirt because my boobs are just in the way so basically <laughs> but i can't wear it to get like cute bras i haven't like went bra shopping i'm still wearing um the bra that they gave me but i did order like three bras of these it's like where you um where you clip and like you can just clip it out or whatever but i have like three bras of these so it's not the same bra that they gave me from surgery but it is the type of bra that you know so yeah that's pretty much y'all i believe so but yeah and also when they did put me to sleep when they put the iv or the what's it called the anesthesia or whatever um i was low-key scared that like that was gonna affect me i don't know because i know there's risk for it so i was low-key kind of scared but um everything went well or whatever and i remember the nurses was asking me so like what do you want to be in the future or whatever and i was like i want to be a youtuber and then i don't remember anything after that like and then i would just woke up to another room i was like what the heck but let me just tell you when i woke up i had to go to the bathroom so bad like i, ha I kept telling the nurse and my mom who was there i was like i have to go to the bathroom i have to go to the bathroom i have to go to the bathroom so they had to help me go to the bathroom i kind of like go by myself i was in a wheelchair family and friends were there to you know support me and stuff so i'm grateful for everybody that um came to surgery and helped me out and all that so yeah guys that's pretty much it really so i'm trying to think if i'm not like forgetting anything but if you guys have questions yourself about you know if you are considering getting a breast reduction um leave it in the comments down below i might maybe i can make like a separate like video and we can just talk about like you know what questions you guys have like i'll answer like a q a breast reduction video like how to get prepared like you know all that 
so maybe but we'll see um but yeah i can't really think of anything else but yeah that's why it, um the reason why it just took me so long to like upload this video because i just wasn't ready to say it basically to like everybody or whatever i can't believe my boobs like i got a c cup and let me just if you guys can see they're just smaller like i cannot believe that <sighs> okay i'm sorry i'm really excited and i just i'm still not used to like this but i'm getting used to it and yeah so like i said if you guys have any questions leave in the comments down below and yeah it's pretty much so um i'll see you guys in the next one love you guys so much wait don't forget to hit that subscribe button y'all don't forget so you can become the angel again all right y'all so i'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all